anybody knows who or what is an alchemist? Yeah, I'm sure some of you have. Exactly, yes. So alchemist is, okay, it, it's an it's a idea of a person who can uh, do some changes, who can do some chemist, chemistry, alchemist, alchemist is the Arabic word. Okay, alchemist, a man with chemistry who can turn okay, lead into gold. Uh, this has been one of the big obsessions of uh, many thinkers. End of the day, everything is atoms, everything is protons, uh, nucleus, and how they arrange themselves is uh, what changes everything. So there was a lot of study and uh, uh, even uh, documented hai, uh, Da Vinci also did a lot of experiments to find some formula, some method where anything can convert into gold. And lead is supposed to be the cheapest of the metals, okay, the least glamorous. Who can convert this? Okay, that's the word, meaning of the word alchemist. Okay. Now, this story is set, it's about a Spanish boy. You can all keep writing if you want to write down. The story is of a Spanish boy. And the Ismina story is a way of communicating ideas. I mean, that's what at least I believe. Now, in Jitne bhi hamare stories hote hain, in our religious books, hain, uh, we talk about those sermons that we have. To explain the common man, uh, they used to have some stories. Some of us ultimately believe that is true. Theke, whatever it is. The stories essentially are a way of communicating okay, whatever ideas you have. And then they personify. Okay, personify, the tree means something. The star could mean something. Okay, the moon will mean something. Okay, a good man means something. So, everything has a meaning. Hota hai. Okay, and then the story is told as a part of a philosophical discourse. So, in this story, mein, there's a lot of symbolism. So, be attentive to symbolisms and then I'll explain you why is the author using that and how can you use it in your essays and discussions and write-ups. So, anyways, Paulo Cielo is an author himself from Spain. The story is of a Spanish uh, shepherd boy. A okay, shepherd boy who is uh, looking in for to see sheep. Or ye bhi symbolism. Hai. Why did he pick up a shepherd boy? And this shepherd boy, young boy, he is uh, you know working very hard in the morning and he, he he gets very tired. He gets very tired, he looks for a place to sleep. He comes to a church, and the church is a dilapidated church. Tuta puta hai, it's broken down, it's in ruins. Ye bhi symbolism hai. again. He ruins him. He is very tired there. And what this man does is, this boy does is, he finds a tree. And uh, the tree is the psychomore tree. A psychomore tree again is a symbolism. Uh, this tree uh, is supposed to be a tree of good luck. It has, uh, it, it is a tree of resistance, resilience. It has some divine, divine things mentioned in the Bible. He, he, in the church, there is a psychomore tree and he goes sleep in that under the tree. While he's sleeping, he has a dream. And in a dream, he sees a girl who tells him that there is a tremendous amount of uh, uh, some treasure hidden and uh, you can go and find it, he, he says. Treasure kaha par hai? He says the treasure is in the pyramids, near the pyramids of Egypt. Pyramids of Egypt mein hai. You must go there and the treasure is yours. You can ultimately take it for yourself. And before he could ask the child or that girl, ki, Batao kaise karna hai, he wakes up. He wakes up and he's very disturbed. He does not know what to do. So Santiago finally, he goes and meets a gypsy girl. A uh, gypsy girl, you know, otherwise frowned upon. But apparently they have some mystical powers. Uh, they can uh, uh, crystal gaze and see something. He tells his dream to the gypsy girl. The gypsy girl says, uh, yes, dream is, is, looks like a good dream you had. It's not a random dream. And it says, it, there's treasure, go and find the treasure. So she suggests, go and uh, find the treasure, it's yours. Now, Santiago is not convinced. He says, what's your problem? Are you go and take the treasure. He says, the solution, he says, is too simplistic. Okay, I have a dream, I saw something, there's some symbolism, and you are saying it's very simple, go and take the treasure. So Santiago is not convinced about the simplicity of the solution. But Gypsy Girl says that the good things in life are generally very simple. Yalak baat hai, we don't realize it. Like, Yalak baat hai, we don't understand the nuances of it. But it is simple, go and find it. 
anyway he is pissed off he does not uh, um, understand what's happening but in the process he comes across a man a man melchi zedek he is a character he is a man uh, he is a ragged man he is a like a beggar poor man random man hai and he talks to him and tells him his dream now this man happens to be a magical king of some place he discovers that baat karte karte that this man is not an ordinary man he is a king he is a king he is a magical king and Melchizedek tells him, "You know, no, you should go after your dream." He convinces him that you must sell your uh, sheep, you must sell your okay, possessions, money, jo kuch bhi hai, and go out. And while talking about going into the dream, he gives him to some concepts. He tells there is a soul of the world. He teaches him something. He says there is something called as the soul of the world. That okay, is, our four corners. There is a soul. Which you must connect with. If you connect with the soul of the world, you'll achieve whatever you need. And that every person has a personal destiny. Every person has a personal story, which he or she must move towards. हर आदमी का एक एक destined future है, towards which you must go. And in your case, Santiago, searching for the treasure looks like your okay, your personal story, your destiny. Go seek it and seek it without any fear and listen to the soul of the world. The soul of the world is something like the heart. The heart is telling him something. You will listen to that soul of the world and it will guide you in whatever way. And he also tells him, the soul of the world reveals itself to omens. आपको निशान मिल जाता है. Something will tell you. Some symbols will happen that tells you, oh, this is what you should do. Santiago asks him. Like a lot of questions. Finally, Santiago says, "Okay, fine. I trust you." Santiago sells his okay sheep. He sells all the possessions he has, and he goes out into a journey. In fact, Santiago says that this journey is what I have always wanted to do because he was actually a student of some religious school. Santiago was actually a student of some religion, but he wanted to travel and see the world. He wanted adventure. and he says the beginning of adventure was he became a shepherd something that his parents did not want something his family did not want a young boy he gave it up okay so he gives up his religion okay and the is sara symbolism hai this religion will mean something this personal story will mean something this soul of the world will mean something ultimately gives up his religion and he uh, he takes up the journey and he first becomes a shepherd And Sherford was the first step, and now suddenly he says, "Oh, he is moving on towards the journey." He starts off his journey. Now, in the journey from Spain, he must go to the pyramids. He does not know what to do. He ends up in Africa. In Africa, पहुँचते ही, okay, some thief, okay, steals his money, his savings from him. Okay, he is mugged. Okay, there is a thief, and he is stolen. Nothing left. ना खाने के लिए पैसा है. Nothing is there. So he is forced to take up a job, a job with a crystal merchant, a job, and see all of this is symbolism. He meets a man who is a crystal, and is a very kind man. He is a very kind man. Uh, uh, he is a very cautious man. Hamesha full of fear, anxiety. So Santiago goes and works for him, and Santiago tells him that you are a nice man. You must take some risks. You are very very guarded. Okay, you are not experimenting. Take some risks, and in the way, this merchant also teaches him some things about place, life. It's a very nice relationship that they have between one another. End of the day, what happens? The crystal merchant actually takes some risk. He takes some risks, okay, and he becomes very rich. Okay, and some bit of this risk and richness he also shares with Santiago. So within one year time. Santiago is again having money. He says, "Okay, now the time to go out and again go after the destiny that I have, which was looking for the treasure." So Santiago again starts out. When he starts out on the way of his journey, he meets an Englishman, an Englishman highly educated, highly studied. Okay, he is aspiring to become an alchemist. Englishman who is an educated man. a very well read he knows about lot of things and uska ambition hai to become an alchemist and this man tells him 
कि अल्केमिस बनने के लिए मस्ट फाइंड सर्टन क्रिस्टल स्टोन क्रिस्टल बुक में लिखा हुआ है दर इज ए फिलोसोफर स्टोन वो स्टोन में अगर आप कुछ काम वाम करते हो लेट कैन बिकम द गोल्ड He gives him lot of information. So these two people are very contrasting. Okay, this man, this Santiago, is uneducated, full of life experience, uh, full of uh, adventure. This man is very educated man. He knows lot of things. Santiago does not know much about these theories and concepts. Okay, so it's like English man and Santiago are contrasts in character. Okay, nevertheless they become friends. they start going searching for things okay and on the way uh, they they happen to or englishman tells him that i am looking for a two alchemist ab wo kahan par hai the two alchemist alchemist is somewhere in the desert it is in the desert and uh, in the desert this alchemist is 200 years old so he says i will go and meet him okay so both of them set out in a search of the True alchemist, apparently कोई desert में है and who is about 200 years old. तो दोनों निकल जाते हैं तो looking for the alchemist. On the way, uh, this to reach this alchemist, what happens is the Englishman uh, takes the help of a caravan. Caravan is you know those uh, uh, people traveling together deserts में on the camels. Okay, they they take the help of a caravan and caravan में there is a camel rider and the camel rider. travels with them and uh, they, they are searching whatever they are on the way now in the meanwhile this camel rider tells him many things about life about the desert way of living and uh, he, they come to a place an oasis hai okay in the desert there is an oasis i hope you know what oasis is oasis is that lake okay where they camp for some time okay but what happens is there is some conflicts going on jhagda bhagda ho raha hai this is a place where they resting and unfortunately because of the conflict their stay becomes a bit more longer to oasis mein they are taking some kind of a shelter uh, they are resting here and while resting two things happens one is that uh, he he meets a girl santiago meets a girl fatima okay while in the they were uh, looking for a Uh, you know, uh, water or whatever. She meets. He meets a girl, Fatima, and they, he falls in love with her. They become very good friends and all of that. So Fatima and he wants to marry her. At same time, uh, Santiago also sees uh, two falcons, two birds fighting. Like okay, two birds fighting. Now he says that it's like an omen. He remembers the words of Melchizedek: "The life will give you omens." and when he sees the birds fighting he goes and tells us oasis mein jo camp tha he goes and tells them he you will be attacked by okay some of the tribes so before they could be attacked they get ready for it and for sure they got attacked but because they were ready okay they were able to thwart and defeat the attack so by then what happens was now santiago becomes a very famous man people now believe him so this man knows about fortune telling they know about they discover that that this man has some extraordinary skills and because he has extraordinary skills the alchemist that they are looking for the 200 years old alchemist hai he invites them you must come and meet me now he wants to go there he wants travel and there's a girl called fatima who is in who is he is in love with and they want to marry so he is torn ki main jaau nahi jaau okay should i go what if this is my personal destiny what if uh, this is the uh, treasure i am looking for but fatima says no you have a different uh, destiny for yourself you must go and look for the treasure meanwhile i think you are my destiny i also had dream and i also was told that i'll find some treasure in the desert and i think i found you but i have found mine you must go and find yours and uh, santiago ultimately comes to believe that that this perhaps is his ultimate achievement that he'll go out in search of a journey he'll find his whatever it is and he can come back to fatima again he says that will be my true accomplishment of life so with reluctance okay he let go of fatima and he goes on his journey in journey he goes and meets the alchemist the alchemist converts some lead into gold he gives him the gold and they again are traveling and they are very near the pyramids now 
आपको पिरामिड्स पहुंचने वाले हैं तो नाउ व्हाट हैपेंस इज जस्ट व्हेन द जर्नी इज गोइंग टू गेट ओवर दे आर अगेन अटैक्ड बाय सर्टेन ट्राइब्स कुछ लोकल ट्राइब्स हैं अरब ट्राइब्स आर देयर दे अटैक देम एंड दे थ्रेटन टू किल देम सो द अल्केमिस्ट व्हाट ही डज इज ही सेस यू टेक अवे ऑल द मनी ऑल द गोल्ड ले लो बट सांतियागो इज अ स्पेशल मैन because he has the capacity of talking to the winds and the sand and he can create a desert storm in 3 days the alchemist tells okay those uh, tribe uh, tribal who attack them santiago okay so the arab uh, tribes attack but they are told about that magic that santiago is so santiago was surprised yaar mujhe kuch bhi nahi pata i have no idea about what i can do with life and sand and wind and you have told the al- i can get strong so alchemist says no you can do it i know go do it so then and he says 3 days may he will do it so then santiago kind of sits down and he starts contemplating he starts to make effort to talk to the wind okay the wind ki you should create a storm then he talks to the sand to create storm finally what happens is while he is talking he is able to create a storm he creates a storm and in that massive strong winds he gets transported to the other side of a small river bank he was surprised he has done it ek magic usne kar diya and the arab tribes who were seeing him okay they get very very surprised so the storm was created and the arab tribes were surprised they said yeah this guy looks a different man they let him go so santiago is free now now santiago says my journey has to end so finally he goes to the pyramids at the pyramids okay he starts digging but while he is digging he again is attacked by some thieves again this time they tie him up okay they beat him up they kya kar rahe ho he says i am looking for a treasure now what treasure looking for he tells that i was in spain i was a shepherd boy i had a dream and in the dream i was told that there is a treasure in the pyramids so i've come here the thieves laugh at him said ah as if this is true you know guy what you know what i have dreamed so what have you dreamed i dreamt that there is a broken church in spain and in the broken church there is a tree okay sycamore tree and the roots of the sycamore tree there's a treasure i must go and find that he is very surprised this is where i am coming from they so anyway they let him go and santiago now goes back to his own village there he goes to the church under the tree he digs and he finds the treasure for himself okay. this is the story of santiago in the alchemist all fine here so this story ka summary hai summary is there in the first one and half page in your okay book on that uh, handout that i have given you uh, summary one acha by the way uh, these summaries are not what i have written okay is there on the internet there is that app called as blinkist okay bahut sare hain Okay, so these apps give you the short summaries. Plus, I read some reviews also. Okay, so you can go back and do the same work. आपने किताब पूरा पढ़ा नहीं है. If you spend one or two hours, पूरा किताब आपको idea हो जाता है. Ideally, I would say read the book first. There's no substitute to that. Then do this work. Uh, time नहीं हो रहा. ठीक है, ये काम कर लो यार. Okay. Oh yes, I will discuss only those books that I have read. and all the summaries to help you understand better ha ah, yes angelic so summary one is a story it says okay santiago's catalyst for his journey is his dream shuru hota hai kahani with a dream a recurrent dream he has in his childhood okay uh, it's about omens about fate about alchemy is the most important motif motif is a symbol of all the story both ends begins and ends in a dream what was santiago's dream a long tending night he is in a church that has roof has crumbled away this is symbolic he is in a place where which is least okay welcoming church which has collapsed which has broken down okay church is like faith which has now collapsed us faith ke andar mein there is a sycamore tree the biblical tree of uh, greatness wisdom is a tree of transformation is apparently when jesus christ is walking he comes to one of his disciples and he finds him sitting under a sycamore tree 
and then Jesus knows, oh, this man has transformed. Okay, so sycamore tree is symbolic of transformation. So us tree, it's like a maple tree. So sycamore tree, in his dream, a child appears, transports him to pyramids of Egypt. Okay, Santiago has never visited waking life. So dreams may both impossible things come. Something you can't believe also. But before she can tell him precisely where the treasure is, he Santiago wakes up. He goes to a fortune teller. Fortune teller. She tells him to travel to pyramids. And Santiago is frustrated. This is far simpler than the far simpler interpretation. But the fortune teller reproves him, uh, reproves him, and she says that it is the simplest things that are most extraordinary. Like right? only the wisest among us can understand them. I don't know if you heard this or not. Ellen Musk talks about this. The idea of first principles. Ab kuch bhi kam karna hai. Then go back and look into this idea of first principles. There are some of first principles where you start from scratch like you know nothing. Ask the basic questions. Start from there. Anything. He says, whenever I see, interesting part is, you know, Elon Musk is not a computer whiz. In some ways, he's also a college dropout. But he, and he has not even done his graduation in physics or space technology. It's entirely something he has taught himself. And they asked him, how do you do this? He says, it's because of first principles I follow. I start from the very basic questions and build it up slowly as I read. Okay, he says that everything in life ultimately is about things are which are very, very simple things in life. But they are the ones that ultimately give us extraordinary results. Santiago does follow his dream. He sells his sheep, embarks on a journey. Okay, and uh, um, he really, he, Santiago had given up a life of religious study to become a shepherd explicitly to pursue desire of freedom and travel. Must we experience disappointment? Throughout the book, dreams, whether directly or obliquely, reflect the truest desires of a dreamer. While in dreams, the alchemist, I guess, articulate desire and begins his journey, he meets a man called as Melchi Zedek. Okay, he's a shabby man, eccentric man, but he is a magical king. And Santiago is introduced to the idea of the soul of the world. Essentially, the world's spiritual network encompassing the soul of every living and non-living thing. But while this framework exists all around us, it is up to us to connect with it. Like, it's, it's one of what we call as spirituality. It's up to us to connect with it. One of the ways the soul of the world communicates with us is through our dreams. So by listening to and acting to our dreams, we begin to tap the spiritual power or soul of the world. The dream has basically your deep okay, belief system that you have inside you. The heart that tells you, okay, if you connect with it, you ultimately connect with the soul of the world. Then he goes to Spain. In Spain, he is robbed by the thieves. He loses everything. Okay, he works for a crystal seller. Then he rides the desert with a camel caravan. He falls in love at the desert oasis, meets a genuine alchemist. At every step, there are distractions, both positive, like love and wealth, and negative, like conflicts and hardships. Beautiful. Pure life may your distractions here. Okay, sometimes things will attract you, something things that depress you or demoralize you. That threaten to sway Santiago from the pursuit of his dreams. But he's resolute. In the face of these diversions, and ultimately arrives at the pyramids. He skips, he sees a scarab beetle, small insect, scuttling on sand and makes it for an omen, and he begins to dig. While he shovels, two young men see him and convince his burying tre treasure. They attack him, trying to steal his treasure. Santiago explains to them that he's digging be there because of what he saw in his dreams. The men release him, they're scornful. You know, I mean, there are people who will not believe in you. They're scornful. They're full of uh, skepticism. He shouldn't be so foolish to believe in his dreams, says one. After all, 
he himself had a recurring dream of his life, but he never been so stupid as devote his life pursuing it. This is the biggest learning. Okay, one is a dreamer, and he seeks to achieve his dreams. The other guy is a dreamer, okay, but he refuses to believe in it, and he is a thief. Okay, and somebody else's dream now tells him, the young man's dream, that if he was to visit Spain and find a crumbling church in the countryside, he should deep, deep down where a cyclomot tree grows, he'll find the untold treasure. In a sense, Santiago's dream takes him a full circle. Return home, he finds treasure, and the gypsy's wisdom is proved correct. The location of treasure couldn't have been simpler for Santiago to find. Yet to unearth it, he had to first experience the extraordinary journey. Now, when I was getting ready for this, I'm reminded of one beautiful treasure we have, the NCRTs. Trust me, I began my journey with NCRTs. Okay. And I know it's a great book. Today, when I read it again, which I'm doing because I'm teaching, I'm teaching GS students also. I'm surprised how many things are there. Okay, and I did not realize it. It comes to me after almost two, two and a half decades ke baad mein sometimes. And I again I'll find something. If just NCRT can master in the true spirit, I'll get it. It is almost something like that. That you're looking for peace, you're looking for salvation, you're looking for dreams, achievement. You'll find that it's actually very simple life. Mein. You'll go around looking for things. Ultimately, you ke aap aane wale ho your first basic principles. Pe. And I'm reminded of a, uh, uh, I mean, it's, it's a scene from a movie, shy, I forget where. There's a poor man and he's sitting with his girlfriend, his wife-to-be. And he has uh, a peanuts in his hands. And he gives it to her. He says, uh, take the peanuts. I wish these were emeralds. It's over. The man works hard, becomes rich, very, very rich, very famous man. Okay, he has no time anymore. And one day he comes to his wife and gives, him, gives her emeralds and says, I wish these were the peanuts that we had once. It's like, you know, life comes back full circle. You achieve it all, you see it all, then you yearn for the simplest things in life. You yearn for what you actually had always, but never cared to believe or see the virtue in it. Okay? So, to unearth it, the experience okay, of the story journey. So now, one by one, what are some of the concepts? So, you essays, the essays, now you are You know the story, you know the basic idea. Okay? So, here it is. The first idea is the concept of personal legend, the personal story or the personal okay, destiny. Jo hai, the personal. And essays may use karna according to Paulo Cielo, according to Alchemist. Okay? And this idea was told by Melchizedek. Okay? Disguised as an old man and um, a discussions. Uh, in many ways, Santiago's journey is structured around understanding the concept of Melchizedek. Now, this Melchizedek is like a spiritual guide. Like life may no matter what happens, you need a mentor. You need a coach. You need a mentor. You need somebody to give you that push. And this mentor can keep changing in life. A main inspiration hoga. Okay, then in his life, the Englishman was his guide. The camel rider was his guide. The alchemist himself was his guide. And this is the crystal seller was also his guide. It all started with this man. Okay. And who gave the concept of soul of the world. But Melchizedek also tells Santiago that he needs to uncover his personal legend. Personal legend, legend is story. Okay. Every person is born with some story to tell. Every person is born with a treasure that he should seek out. Okay. According, everyone according to Melchizedek has a personal legend. Okay. It's the thing you truly want to accomplish, but few of us ever achieve it. When we are young, our legend is very clear to us. As we grow older, okay, though most of us absorb society's messages, that our personal legend are simply too hard to attain and that we should focus instead 
on living life safely and comfortably. You know, ask yourself, how many of you have sacrificed your dreams because of the concept of security? security We want a stability in life. And trust me, life has nothing called a stability. Life has nothing called security. I, I look at my own life. I look at my parents' life. Unke life mein abhi bhi wahi hai, of a different nature, but they are there. I was a nervous man. I was having my fears. I had my failures. When I began, or aaj bhi dekhta hu, today also I'm sometimes nervous. I have my fears. So where does it end? I've seen my life as child, my life now. And I can see the lives of my friends, the life of my parents. I have seen life of my grandparents. Sabhi ke life mein kuch na kuch issues hai. And everybody wants security. This story tells you there's nothing called a security. Okay, life, you know, maybe you should look this person up also. This guy called Ken Robinson. Sir Ken Robinson. He is a great educationist. He says that schools teach us out of out of creativity. Every child is born creative, he says. Her child has some creativity. School sikha deta hai to lose creativity and to fit ourselves into some formulas and certain formats. Kya sochna hai, formula ban jata hai. Kya kehna hai, it becomes loose, uh, laws and rules. What we can think, what we can't think is controlled by the society dictates. So, but this man says, you know, everybody has a legend to uncover. Unfortunately, we lose it because we focus on safety and comfortable life. But if they put their mind to it, okay, anyone can desire, can achieve that personal legend. For some of you, maybe your preparation for civil services lies like a personal legend. Okay, and not the exam itself. I mean, I tell this to everybody. Like, and interview children, this is a, always a common conversation. Why IES? Why IES? You know, if it comes from the deep thinking that you have, you will be in And believe me, you can see it. If it doesn't happen, you're mechanically saying. Mechanically, I want to do this, I want to do that. And there are examples where you speak from the bottom of your heart. You have to go and achieve that level to understand what your personal legend is. Okay? They just need to be desired enough. Because if you really desire something, the desire is not yours. It's a desire that has origin from the universe. And the universe will help you accomplish it. And this is the sentence, you know, Sashar Khan has made very famous. Okay? That uh, if you want something very deeply, Pura Kainath will conspire. His statement is from this book. The universe conspires to help you achieve what you deeply desire because your desires emanate from the deep power of the universe itself. You are essentially a reflection of the soul of the world. That is the product of the universe wanting you to do something. Okay? So, Melchizedek represents that part. Okay. On his travels, Santiago meets, okay, uh, uh, Santiago uh, meets two more characters who help him connect to personal legend. One is the Englishman. The Englishman and, uh, uh, and, and uh, the Englishman is an, wanting to be alchemist. Englishman is very different approaches. Santiago studies the world around him. The Englishman immerses him in his books. Okay, traveling in the caravan, they become friends and so on. Okay. Uh, Santiago shows him that life and experience are richer than texts, are richer texts than any academic book. Fundamentally, it's an experience that matters. In our case, it will be the understanding linked to the application as aspects. Don't just memorize what is poverty. Don't just memorize Okay, what is the environmental problem? Connect with what's happening in life around you. He says, the bigger wisdom lies in the experience of life and not in academic book. I said, no, Englishman and Santiago are like uh, each other's alter ego. 
Santiago is uneducated, a rustic man from a village, a shepherd who's adventurous. He's out there okay, starting to do things he has no idea about. The Englishman is educated, erudite, paralika hai, logical thing. He knows a lot of things. But fundamentally, the story belongs to man who is who has the courage to take adventure and take on experience. The second figure is the alchemist. When Santiago meets him in desert oasis, alchemist explains that he has succeeded in becoming a true alchemist, someone who can transmute material from one form to another by living out his lesson. Other alchemists, important one, other alchemists, he says, fail because they are focused solely on creating gold rather than achieving their personal legends. The idea, no, that your life must not be trapped in terms of the material things alone. You rise up above that. Through the figure of the alchemist, Selo critiques people who work to achieve superficial rewards like wealth, gold, instead of turning into deeper desires. Don't just study for marks, that's the idea. Uh, don't just try to complete a book. Don't just finish a course. Don't just smile superficially. You must have that connect which is deeper than the act itself. Okay? Both alchemists and Melchizedek tell Santiago the only way to uncover his personal legend is by listening to his heart. When Santiago, is a paragraph. When Santiago tries to do this, he becomes confused, frustrated. His heart simply won't cooperate. It's filled with fears and anxieties. It worries about his faraway lover. Is overwhelmed by beauty and beats quickly when he's scared. The alchemist reassures him. This is a good sign, he says. Santiago's heart is alive and experiencing things. He should be listening to it. Okay. It's like that the journey of becoming human. That you are scared. You have fears. That you have your anxiety. That you have your distractions tells me you still have a heart. You still have a heart. You still feel for things. It says listen to it. Okay. But what about when the heart tells him to stop pursuing the personal legend? Sandhu asks him, Ye heart bol raha ki aage nahi ho sakta. No, we have our doubts, no? Main padhai kar raha hu. Main heart tells me, are you the possible nahi hai? I mean, stop believing in a fantasy. Ye to hoga nahi. Okay. Ye ekta bol raha ho. Pursue your life, personal legend. Ek tara fe heart tells, okay, uh, no more uh, stories. Okay. Start believing. Then, then this guy tells him, Sasanthi to ask, when it tells him he is endangering the wealth he has accumulated in a romantic relationship by chasing a dream, okay, then the alchemist tells him, when his heart dissuades him from his quest, Santiago must talk back to his heart and reassure it. When you have a don't ignore it. But it's your work also to comfort your own heart. You know, all is good, all is well. You have to tell yourself, ki, hai. you are scared, but go on. Ignoring his heart is not an option. Once he has learned to listen to it, he will never be able to stop. So while he receives his heart's wisdom, Santiago must also counsel his heart when it falters. Heart can also make mistakes. Okay. When at last Santiago tells his heart to stay true and not fear suffering, his heart finally starts to share the wisdom of the soul of the world with him. I think in pure write-up, these four paragraphs are the most important ones. Even for that matter, the story of personal legend. Okay, inspiration, your life force, the soul of the world, universe conspires for it, listen to your heart, don't be mechanical, Okay, but experience things. Don't just go after superficial knowledge. Okay, learn to reassure your heart. And when your heart is convinced, you are an unstoppable force. I think pure book me, this section is beautiful. Okay. The next section. Love does not equate to possession. Okay. See, so if you like something, does not mean you must own it. The example of Fatima. Okay, and this also was when uh, he was telling that 
crystal merchant take some risks you know uh, santiago shepherd boy is giving wisdom to a crystal merchant ki aap bhi risk lo yaar phase kyu rehte ho you don't have to always hold things tight and not let go of it when i'm telling this to you i am getting some insights so oh, uh, that's one area where i'm not letting go at all like it's like you know batate batate mujhe khud ko okay gyan ho raha hai anyways i hope i go back home and don't do anything okay <laughs> heart to bahut kuch karna cha raha hai okay suddenly okay you find me doing things that sari kya ho gaya i said it started with the alchemist story i told my students i was telling them and i i learned something deep in me also i think i have that reckless streak in me okay i don't know if i have control that or time has made me more sober and not listen to my heart if i'm listening to my heart god knows what i'll do start doing immediately okay to some extent even educamy was karte hain dekhte hain kya hota hai let's see okay so i'm getting ideas now anyways come back here okay the alchemist is a story rich with meanings and ideas it offers different interpretations different people for many though it is a love story at heart one of the novel's most compelling narrative is that is the story of santiago and fatima santiago meets fatima at the desert ye bhi symbolic hai ye desert ke oasis mein the meeting one another no oviran all desert sands winds hot okay usme ek chhota sa oasis hai symbolic of the small good moments of a life and that is where you meet the person you probably are destined to meet that is where you meet the life opportunities you know when the life is full of you know problems troubles fears failures usi mein spark milega aapko the spark that ignites the true passion in you so this desert ke andar mein oasis mein he finds fatima but the caravan he's traveling has stopped to avoid getting caught in a brewing conflict he first encounters her at the well she has come to fill her water jar santiago waits by the well every day just to have a chance to talk to her in his brief con- uh, brief conversations they share their hopes and dreams and soon they are engaged to be married okay through fatima a uh, sero introduces the questions around love and possessions the sub symbolism hai can you truly possess something you love or if you don't truly love something can you really ever possess it every stage of santiago's journey compels him to part with things he holds dear in one way or the other beautiful pure journey mein santiago sacrifice hi kar raha hai he first gives up his sheep okay then he gives up his possession is robbed by it he joins a crystal merchant he makes money makes a good friend he must leave him he has a english man who is teaching him he must leave him he comes to fatima he must leave her he meets the alchemist who gives him gold wo bhi chhodta hai and when he thought he had reached his destiny even that was not his final end okay he had to ultimately go back to where it all started okay he says in every stage of santiago's journey compels him to part with things that he holds dear in one way or the other his flock of sheep when he leaves his acquired fortunes his robbed arrival at tangis even to the gold given to him by the alchemist at the pyramids but the hardest thing to part with is fatima santiago wonders if he should really be pursuing his personal legend if it means leaving her behind isn't she part of his personal legend now now these are questions ye hamare life mein aate rahenge ki what if what if fatima is his personal legend what if fatima is the treasure that life was telling him about life tells him go to desert pyramid ke paas mein you will find your desert your treasure right he is confused ke yahi wo treasure tha have come all the way fatima sees things differently okay fatima tells santiago to continue on his journey to the pyramids she has always dreamed 
So the dessert will bring her the great gift. And she sees that gift in Santiago. So for Fatima, this is the destiny she has. She has become part of his personal legend. And she tells him that if that is meant to be, she will still be there when he returns. He says, go. She says, go search your personal legend. Go and find it. And when it gets, then come back to me. Okay. She is a woman of the desert and knows that men must leave in order to return. She also knows that if they don't return, their soul has simply moved elsewhere into an animal or sand dune or some element of the soul of the world. Like the losses we have, the people we lose are actually not the people we have lost. Those people ultimately get transformed into something else and they become a part of the world itself. It's a very big philosophy hai that tells that ultimately everything is some energy. You have your origin is from the dust, you'll go back to the dust also. Okay, so ultimately nobody loses anything. The alchemist reinforces Fatima's perspective. If Santiago stays in the OSS, he says, it's because he does not trust his love for Fatima. That she will lose her. If you trust her, then let her go. Because he does not trust himself to return if he leaves. Leaving Fatima and then returning to her is the purest way that Santiago can express his love for her. It's saying, right? Na? If you really love something, let it go. If it comes back to you, you really belong to it. If it doesn't come back to you, it never was yours. The dark philosophy in the form of this narrative. Love in the broader sense also plays a large role in the story. The cello is interested in the love that is embodied in the universe. And this, is, no, this story looks like a love story. Love of a different kind. Okay. The scene where Santiago must prove to suspicious tribesmen that he is indeed an alchemist is striking embodiment of this. When he converts that storm okay, in the desert, Santiago is becoming a part of the universe there. Okay. The alchemist tells them that three days time, the boy will prove he is a true alchemist by transforming himself into the wind. Santiago has no idea how he will manage. But he has learned to speak the language of the universe. He asks the desert to transform him into the wind. He tells him he is in love with a woman and that he would, he would uh, like to travel back to her in the form of a desert wind. The desert says it can't help him, but tells him to speak to the sand. It tells him to speak to the sun. In the language of the universe, Santiago talks of love to all these natural elements. It's like you are connected to everything around you. The wind, the sand, the sun. But none have the power to help him. Santiago understands. Then these natural elements like him are trying to follow their own journey. He is one with them. The realization, okay, fine. The next one is, like, if you follow the makers, it's up to you to follow the markers of a destiny. It's like the story tells us that every person ultimately has a personal legend. The heart tells him where to go. And the universe shows him symbols. But if you don't understand, that is your mistake. Everybody has a destiny. But does not mean everybody actually ends up there. Everybody has a bigger life goal, but does not mean they automatically will end up there. You have to put in efforts. Okay. So it says, it is up to you to follow the markers of your destiny. Okay. There is an inescapable tension underpinning the alchemist. That of struggle between fate and free will. If our personal legend is predetermined by the universe, I'm both the ages, right? Agar sab kuch likha hua hai, then how are we responsible for anything that we do? Agar sab kuch destined hai, the God has written down everything that we must do, but tamme kuch kani zarurat nahi hai. This story says no, it's not as simple as that. Sab likha hua hai does not mean you'll end up there. I was reading one more uh, example of this. It says, think of you are on a road. And road mein signs lage hoi hai. Okay, left side this, right side this. Sab kuch likha hua hai. It's all there. Likha hua does not mean that you ultimately will take the right path. 
लिखा हुआ है मीन्स द मार्कर आर देर इट्स अप टू यू वॉट यू चूज इट्स अप टू यू टू इग्नोर द समसाइंस ओके एग्जाम्पल ऑफ आर यू लिस्निंग टू दो माइल स्टोन आर नॉट एंड इट्स एज द नेवर इन आवर लाइफ डू वी एक्चुअली हैव ओके नो मार्कर्स वो कहते हैं यार कुछ पता नहीं क्या करूं कुछ समझ में नहीं आ रहा है ट्रूली देखा जाए यू एग्जैक्टली नो वॉट यू मस्ट डू इट जस्ट दैट हार्ट आपका हार्ट मान नहीं रहा है यू कैन कन्विंस योर सर यू एग्जैक्टली नो कि यही मुझे करना चाहिए दिस इज माई कॉलिंग दिस इज इज राइट दिस इज रिस्पॉन्स वेरी रेयर केस में होता है कि एक्चुअली पता नहीं होता है वाई बिकॉज द मार्कर आर ऑल देर मेन यू हिट अ फोर्थ वी से नो पता नहीं ये करेंगे ये करें ऐसा नहीं आपको पता होता है इट्स ऑल रिटर्न देर But your heart doesn't want to believe something, okay? And that's where you are torn between this or that, okay? It says that uh, the struggle is of fate and free will, okay? If our personal legend is predetermined by universe, why do we have to struggle so much to accomplish it? Conversely, if we fail to achieve our personal legend, shouldn't we be blame? Shouldn't we blame the universe? For the failure rather than ourselves. अगर मुझसे गलती हो रही है तो मेरा गलती थोड़ी है तो लिखा है किस्मत में मुझे गलती करना है ठीक है सांतियागो ग्रैपल्स विद दिस क्वेश्चन ओवर द कोर्स ऑफ स्पोर्ट इन द एंड इज अ डिस्कशन विद अ कैमल राइडर द रिजोल्व इंटरनल कंफ्लिक्ट ओमेंस नाउ ओके ओमेंस द एल्केमिस्ट ओमेंस एल्केमिस्ट आर यूनिवर्स साइन पोस्ट their objects or events okay a freighted as in loaded with the meaning that can guide us down a path or give us a glimpse of the future the story is book ended with omens khoob sare like omens hain at the outset of santiago's journey melchi zede gives him two stones that will help him interpret omens when he reaches the pyramids santiago interprets the scarab beetle as an omen showing him where to dig the buried treasure but the most significant omen occurs when santiago sees two hawks lock in an airborne battle he understands this as an omen foretelling that an enemy tribe will attack the desert oasis where he and his caravan are resting this turns out to be right these omens are presented as a universe conspiring with santiago to help him fulfill his destiny moreover the phrase maktab maktab is something like kismat okay means it is written okay the arabic word okay the word maktab means written written does not mean that my journey is written written means the sign posts are written okay is uttered by characters at turning points suggesting that the contours of santiago's path are predetermined by fate by fate if then If you are fated to fulfill our destinies, why must we struggle to accomplish our personal legends? Okay. Now, Camel Adder says, the wisest seer he tells Santiago that no man can know the future; only God can. Seers, seers, as in the learned wise men and the monks, seers merely guess it by reading the omens of the present. Okay. Paying attention to omens around us. allow us to improve our present and shape our future in other words the secret to fulfilling your future destiny is by living attentively in the moment your signs that what should do is all around you you pay attention to what you are i mean isko hum modern term se bolte hain mindfulness aap jo bhi kaam karo do with a lot of mindfulness lot of deliberate action okay not mechanically you know so the kaam kar rahe ho be alert and the nature will throw you symbols telling you what to do and what not to do okay the final summary santiago experiences setbacks distractions he is robbed he must rebuild his fortune a desert conflict impedes his journey he meets an erudite educated man an experienced englishman he falls in love with fatima He meets an alchemist who shows him the importance of listening to the heart, connecting with the soul of the world. When he arrives at the pyramids, his dream is proved prophetic. 
इफ इन ए राउंड अबाउट फैशन ठीक है द एल्केमिस्ट ग्रैपल्स विथ द थीम्स ऑफ फेथ डेस्टिनी लव एंड आवर प्लेस इन द यूनिवर्स इट इज ओवर आर्चिंग मैसेज इज दैट इफ एक्सेप्ट वी आर वन विथ यूनिवर्स वी कैन अचीव एक्स्ट्रॉर्डनरी फीड्स एंड रियलाइज आवर डीपेस्ट डिजायर आई होप इट्स ऑल गुड नाउ सो गाइज माई सजेशन इज आप घर जाके ना यू टेक अ प्रिंट आउट ओके मे बी आई कैन आस द टीम टू शेयर विथ यू आपका एस ए का लिस्ट है सी वाई आई कीप कमिंग बैक टू एस एज बिकॉज आई थिंक एस एज आर द हाइएस्ट फॉर्म ऑफ विजडम डिमांडेड आउट ऑफ यू वॉट इज टेक्टॉनिक थ्योरी ओके राइट ए नोट ऑन कार्बन ट्रेड explain fundamental rights what is gdp and what is inflation but ye answer na ho jata hai kya nahi hota hai for most of you is the deep thinking required in these type of write ups application nahi hota hai the importance of fundamental rights in terms of application kya wisdom kya hai the importance of environmentalism and our life okay wo application nahi hota hai and the only way to do this is go deep into what you are studying let's say always come back to essays agar essays aap pakad pa rahe ho na aur essays mein trust me aap pura ka pura geography okay gs ethics sab dal doge usme aap if you are smart people ask me essay ke liye hum kya padhe na kya padhe kya you read your regular gs but properly with depth so my suggestion to all of you is essay ke topics dekhte raho regularly dekhte raho kya puch raha hai 